Hello, welcome everyone to question count the triplets from the topic arrays in geek for geeks must do coding interview questions. So in this question, we have been given an array and in this array, uh, we have a variable called S and we have to find out inside the array where adding two numbers, it should give the sum. Uh, for example, one plus two is three. So on adding two numbers inside the array, whatever number we will be getting, that number should also be present inside this array itself. Okay, when such a case arises, we call that triplets. So there are three values okay, on which uh, so adding two numbers, which will give the third number. Okay, so if such value is there, then we will count the triplet. Okay, this is the first triplet, and this is our second triplet. Two plus three equal to five here. Two plus three and five, right? And these are the only two triplets there. Now theoretically you have understood we have to find out the triplets and we have to count them how many of them are. Now in the coding approach what we are going to do is we are going to take two pointers. One is i and another is j. What we are going to do is we are going to convert this array into a set first. Okay. When we convert this array into a set, set of a. Okay. Set of a. Now we are going to convert this array into a set of a and then we are going to use two pointer approach okay now let us convert this into a set after converting this into a set we will be having the same members and the search time in this set will be o1 okay this is the main advantage this will act as a hash map for us okay now we will be taking two loops and first loop will be starting from zeroth index here and jth loop will start from one here okay now in the first iteration we will be taking all the possible values along with i and j okay let us take 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 7, 1, 5. Now second iteration again. So now i value will be updated. I will be coming to the next position here. This time we have to check for 2 and the next numbers. That will be iterated in the next loop indicating j variable as an index. Okay, now again similarly we have to take all the possible combinations along with 2, 2, 3, 2, 7 and 2, 5. Again, let's update i and j index now. All the possible combination of 2 have been done. Now we have to search for all the possible combination of 3. 3, 7 and 3, 5. And finally, we have 7 and 5. Okay. Now you can see here, this is the set variable which have been converted to a set variable here. Now we will be searching the sum values. Okay. In the first iteration, we got 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 7, right? So we're going to add these numbers and check. Is 1 plus 2 is present in the set value? Yes, 1 plus 2 is present. So we will take a count variable here. After taking count variable, we are going to update that. Okay, plus equals 1 here, right? So count variable will be updated. So that uh, initially count was 0. Now it will be 1. Okay, 1, 3. 1 plus 3, 4 not present, 1 plus 7, 8 not present, 1 plus 5 is also not present. Again, 2 plus 3, in the second iteration you can see, 2 plus 3, we have 5 inside the set here. So, this is one more, we will update again. Now, this time count will be equal to 2, right? After that, if you check every other combination, the triplet won't be existing. So, this will be our final answer. So, this is the way we can approach towards the triplets. We can take a set variable and convert our array to a set then just take all the possible combinations by taking two loops two nested loops here and iterating all the possible combinations we will be checking if that sum is existing inside the set variable or not if it is existing then we will update the count value in the final value we will return to the function i hope you have understood the counter tablets problem now let's go into the coding section after seeing the code it will be very much clear now we're inside the coding section and as you can see we have converted the array into a set form here and we are taking answer equal to zero this is for counting how many triplets are there and we have taken a nested loop first one will be having i index and second one will be having j index okay j index will always start from i plus one index only so in this way we will get all the possible combinations for two values we will be checking that sum is present inside the set variable or not. If it is present, then we will update the answer plus equal to 1. And finally, after iterating all the possible combination, we will return the answer. I hope you have understood the theory part and also our coding part. If you like the video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in another question.